Hello, welcome back. My name is Mariel. And a few weeks ago, I did a video on modest outfit ideas, and it is more popular than I expected it to be. You guys really seem to like it, which, looking back, I kind of wish I put a little more effort into it now. But it's all good, because today I'm going to be doing another video on modest outfits. But this time, I'm going to try to make it more appropriate for summer and give you some tips on how to stay cool while covering up. So I hope this video helps you, and hope it gives you some outfit ideas for the summer. And if it does, don't forget to like, comment down below what outfits you like, or some more outfit ideas that you have, or videos you want to see in the future. Follow me on Instagram at BeDressFully for more fashion content and updates on my channel, and also on TikTok at DressLeaf. And let's get started. So for this first outfit, I'm doing some light monochrome layering, especially in a lighter color such as this all white number. And I have on this white turtleneck, which is a very thin fabric, and I definitely recommend getting like thin fabrics only, of course. And especially fabrics such as linen and cotton because those are perfect for the summer. They are lightweight and breathable and absorb moisture better than other fabrics. So definitely recommend looking up fabric types that are good for the summer. And over the turtleneck, I layered this long white midi dress with some pretty puff sleeves that make me feel like a princess. And then for shoes, I have on these beige colored espadrilles. Okay, for this outfit, I wanted to show how you can wear the same outfit as the previous outfit, but in different colors. So here I have this edgier look with a black turtleneck, and this is also a thin material. Again, materials are everything for keeping cool in the summer. And then I layered on this black and red floral dress with also a puff sleeve um, silhouette and some buttons going down the middle. And then instead of heels, I have on my platform combat boots so it's kind of an edgier vibe and kind of like 90s grunge-esque and while the black does make it a bit warmer than the all white outfit I feel like midi dresses are so perfect for the summer because they're so flowy and breathable so I love wearing long dresses So I wore this outfit in my Romantic Academia outfits video with the puff sleeve blouse, the khaki brown trousers, and these nude block heels. And if you're comfortable wearing a short sleeve and this square neckline, then I think that outfit looks really cute. But if you want to cover up a little bit more, you can easily layer a white turtleneck or just a long sleeve shirt underneath like I am doing here. And I would pair it with my little brown baguette purse. And I think just a turtleneck and some trousers is always a classic outfit, but to add a little something extra to the outfit, I like having this puff sleeve silhouette on top of it. Okay, so this outfit I actually wore in my last Modest Outfits video, but like Lizzie McGuire, I am an outfit repeater. We are sustainable over in this channel, no wearing an item of clothing once and never wearing it ever again. I always like to promote rewearing outfits and rewearing items over and over again in multiple different outfits. So to explain this outfit again, I have on a white turtleneck again tucked into a black floral midi skirt and over that layer this black graphic t-shirt and wore some Converse sneakers. And I paired that with my black crossbody purse with some silver chains on the straps. And as I said earlier, I love midi dresses and along the same lines midi skirts because they are so flowy and breathable and perfect for spring and summer. Okay, so for this outfit, again, I wanted to elevate the basic turtleneck look. So I have a white turtleneck tucked into some jeans, and then I layered over it this black lingerie slip dress slash cami blouse with a pretty lace neckline. And I paired that with my Mary Jane shoes and this simple black crossbody purse. Okay, 
so for this outfit I wanted to go super edgy with a lot of grunge influence so I have on these black ripped jeans and of course you don't have to wear ripped ones if you're not comfortable showing that skin or you can wear leggings underneath and then I have the striped black and white long sleeve shirt it could also be another white turtleneck or a striped turtleneck and then I have the same black graphic t-shirt I wore earlier and then I have this belt that comes with this little belt chain and again my black crossbody purse with the silver chain detailing to match that little chain and again my platform combat boots Next, I have an outfit that is perfect for running some errands, going to the grocery store, etc. Because this long overalls dress made of like a sweatshirt kind of material is super easy to throw on and very comfortable and it goes down to like my ankle so it's pretty modest. And today I just threw it over this pink cropped hoodie and I have an undershirt underneath in case you don't want to show any skin since it is cropped and I paired it with some white sneakers. And I feel like you can also throw the hoodie over the dress instead so then it looks like you have just a plain black long skirt. Okay, next I have these v-neck overalls in this light blue color and they're very thin and breathable again so I love them for the summer. And underneath I have this beige turtleneck but you can go for just a long sleeve shirt or a turtleneck or a t-shirt or whatever you feel comfortable with. I just went with a turtleneck because I'm trying to cover up as much as I can during this video. And then to match the beige shirt, I have on these beige espadrilles I wore in my first outfit and I love them. It has a cute lace up detailing and they're super duper comfortable. Next I've got this casual, kind of smart casual look. So I have on this white button down shirt that's super lightweight and oversized and I half buttoned it up and just tucked it in so it basically looks unbuttoned. And I layered a black turtleneck underneath but if you feel comfortable uh, I think it looks really cute with a black tank top or crop top. And then I have some plain blue jeans and some white sneakers again. And then I paired it with this red baguette purse. Finally, I just wanted to go over some miscellaneous tips for keeping cool in the summer. First of all, I just want to say if you do want to recreate any of these outfits, you can adapt it to however you feel comfortable wearing it. For example, you don't need to wear a turtleneck with every outfit, so you can take that layer out if you feel comfortable. Or on the other hand, since some of my dresses and skirts have slits in them that show off a little skin, you can wear leggings underneath if that makes you feel more comfortable. Next, another tip if you are planning on layering a collared shirt underneath a crew neck, you could always use a fake collar that you can buy or make yourself so you don't have that extra sleeve layer. If you feel comfortable wearing short sleeves, you could also wear a short sleeve turtleneck or mock neck shirt so you can keep cool but cover up a bit more. Lighter colors will keep you cooler since darker colors will absorb light and heat. Opt for looser, flowier fits because they will be more breathable and comfortable, which is why I love midi skirts and dresses for the summer. Accessorize with hats to help keep the sun off your face and head. Other than that, I'd probably try to keep it simple when it comes to accessories, avoiding things like heavy jewelry that sticks to your skin. And again, fabric content really does help, so look for fabrics like linen, cotton, chambray, and rayon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you did, don't forget to like and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at Leaf and on TikTok at Leaf. And I will see you guys next time.